Oh, it's doing its bit. It's been doing its bit now for a few years, isn't it? Um, I mean, specifically, we have a network uh, training program that, that meets um, on a Tuesday. Uh, actually, that is attended by, currently, in, in, in the recent crop, 15 different churches are represented. We have our own ministry apprenticeship program, which is the internal uh, internship, um, where we have often recent graduates or folks who are thinking about ministry coming to us for a year or two years and getting some sort of training. They would be part of the network course, but they would have in addition to that uh, actual vocational um, training placements. In this last year, we've twin some of our efforts with the church plant in Trevethin that, that we've been involved in sending Diane and Michelle um, to start the work there. So two of um, our MAs are part-time uh, with Trevethin and part-time with us. We've also got a, a training track uh, now that operates much more intentionally uh, within what you might call the lay stream of Highfield. So for example, youth leaders, Bible study leaders, um, uh, and other ministry areas have a more coordinated, self-conscious training program. And out of that training program, we are beginning to identify key, potentially key workers, full-time workers for the future. I think another one of the elements of, of Highfield's training in the last couple of years has been in, in missions, um, we've seen a number of uh, folks going to uh, global uh, cross-cultural mission as a result of our investment in their training. Um, so there's a, it seems to me there's a causal connection between our short-term missions program, which we run, um, to places like uh, France and uh, the Philippines or wherever we've got currently mission partners, and the impact upon individuals who join one of these mission, mission teams. Uh, so many of them. Um, catch the vision for cross-cultural global mission on a short-term program and in, in you know, a year or two's time they come back to us saying I really feel God's hand on my life for cross-cultural mission um, please help me um, so I think that's another um, uh, element of, uh, of our training which is a very new feature but then finally I think one of the things that we've done in the last, again, last two or three years we've developed a more conscious um, relationship with some of our um, sister, daughter, church contexts. I'm thinking here of, of, of Minster uh, Centre in, uh, in Cardiff and Emmaus Chapel, uh, Lanishan, and um, we, we've, uh, we've tried to encourage uh, some of the training um, of, of folks in our church by linking them with these, these other church connections we've got. And you could argue that's similarly what we've done with our Wales-wide um, partnership. We have a number of churches that belong to Wales-wide, and, and we've been uh, twinned with a church in Flandilo. And uh, some of our folks go, go there occasionally to help in ministry and as part of their training and development. So, so we, we are much more, uh, I think, coordinated between the individual and his or her training, and then the opportunities to learn on the job in, in, in different contexts.